So one of our most difficult tips to use, actually the most difficult tip to use, the basket weave tip. Uh, super cool if you can nail it and not so cool if you mess it up. So um, key points for this is, or are, um, perfect 90 degree presses from one to the other. So, and then not going too deep. So you've got to practice your depth. Um, you start getting in, you know, trying to bury the tip and getting these presses, um, the material flow out the outsides, you're definitely going way too deep. So you're only going in to the tops of the pyramids, if you will. Um, and then you're going to rotate it 90 degrees from the first press and create a little bit of an overlap there. So you get this perfect grid. If you start being off in your overlap, Or, worse still, start rotating or leaving gaps. And I'm doing an extreme example here in a sense, but rotating or leaving, you know, a gap between the presses or any combination thereof, then your pattern's going to get off and not look right. Um, so keep that in mind. I mean, you've got some leeway with the flow of the plastic, but if I start getting too much to the side and then leave a little gaps in between there, it's not going to look right. But the main key is that 90 degree rotation from uh, your first press to the other press. And then this is also something that if you measure the tip and kind of lay it out and plan it out, your pattern, uh, it'll be a huge benefit to you. So here's a basket weave that I did pretty decent job on. Um, overall, really symmetrical. As I started with the pattern going down a line right here, um, and then the angle is different here, so I've got a little bit of a blend or overlaps in a couple portions on top and bottom. And then in the back, had to kind of blend a little bit together as well. But overall, starting with a line there, working your way backwards into it can give you a pretty good result. So on a high glass fill frame, the basket weave is going to be held a little bit longer onto the material. And you're gonna have to press a little deeper. So as always, practice with everything before you do it, and the Glock case is a great material. Uh, we occasionally have chopped frames for sale. Uh, we have practice sheets, and then getting a wide variety of different plastic materials so that you're familiar with more things when you go to work on an actual frame. If it's not something that you have a grip module for, is a good idea. And for those of you who are wondering what happened to the uh, frame that I was working on there, with a bunch of different patterns and then went over it with the X tip and the cutting tip for borders and cleaned everything up and here's the end result.